And that was for a total for that product of 72.97. Yes. Okay. And then the next entry uh, is leg bags for catheters medium, and that references um, an order of, of 30, uh, but but not shipped. Is that accurate? Yes. Okay. And in the, the first entry, the catheters um, that were shipped, the external smalls. Uh, that indicates on there that that's also uh, a 30 count product? Yes. Okay. Now on June 22nd, 2009, did Ms. Nung indicate that she'd like those products shipped overnight? Yes. Do you advise her that there'd be increased costs? Yes. Sustain. The answer stricken. Please disregard it. We ask. So what did you advise Ms. Nung when she asked that those be shipped overnight? It's hearsay. May we approach? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, any communications between Ms. Nung on the one hand and Ms. Hirschberg on the other are not received for the fact that what Ms. Nung is saying to Ms. Hirschberg is true or not. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. So the comments of Ms. Nung are not received for their truth. They're received for a limited purpose, namely to explain what, if anything, Ms. Hirschberg did in response to any request, whether it was truthful or not. So it's received only for that limited purpose to explain the actions of Ms. Hirschberg uh, as a result of what somebody may have told her. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. You indicated to Ms. Nung that there would be increased costs to ship these uh, condom catheter devices overnight? Yes. Okay. And she agreed to that? Yes. Okay. And did you then speak to Ms. Nung on June 26, 2009, in which she canceled that order. Yes. And she, in fact, asked for a refund to the money that she had already provided. Just a moment, please. Objection to relevance. Sustain. What did you ship the order? Just, we ask, please. The June 22nd order. Let's go back to the invoice for a moment. It indicates the wideband catheter bag was shipped. Yes. Okay. And that was for seventy two ninety seven. Yes. And the condom catheter leg bag size medium was back ordered and not shipped. Yes. Okay. Did you speak to Miss Connie Nunn uh, at nine twenty six AM Pacific time? on June 26, 2009? Yes. And did she then cancel the order for the condom to catheter relevance, bags? Judge, with regard to relevance, this is the Sorry. We, we're having yeah. people speak we over each other. Wait, I, I, okay. Just we, a moment, okay? Again, one person speaks at one time. If counsel want to approach, that's fine. What, what con, con it, Just a moment. Why? Remember? Yes, I'm sorry, Judge. Let's go to the side, please. Right. You may. Ms. Hirschberg, on June 26, 2009, at 9.26 a.m. Pacific Time, Los Angeles Time, did you receive and a call from and speak with Objection. Connie Nunn? Objection. To, that we, we just had this conversation. Objection to hearsay and relevance. I understand the court's ruling, Your Honor. I do, too. The objection is overruled. Thank you, Your Honor. Let me repeat. On June 26, 2009, at 9.26 a.m., uh, Pacific time in Los Angeles. Did you have a phone call conversation and speak with Connie Nunn? Yes. Okay. And at that date, at that time, did Connie Nunn cancel the order? No, the I'm, I'm going to sustain the objection to the phraseology of the question. Can I ask what the, the witness did? In response to your conversation with Ms. Nunn, did you cancel the order for the condom catheter uh, bags? Yes. Thank you. Nothing further, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Wogan, thank you. Ms. Chernoff, cross, please. Ms. Hirsch, Ms. Hirschberg, hi. Hi. Ms. Hirschberg, how long has Global Cardiovascular been a, a, uh, uh, doing business with Seacoast? We opened the account in December of 2006. Okay, so many, many years, I guess what... I guess for by June of 2009, we're talking about three years of transactions? Yes. All right. Was it unusual 
for global, global cardiovascular to order lidocaine during those three years? Uh, not unusual, just not a lot. Was it unusual for global cardiovascular and you, and you know what kind of business global cardiovascular was in, right? Yes. Okay. They were cardi it was a cardiology practice, Correct. right? Correct. Yes. Was it unusual for them to order IV infusion pumps? No. In fact, um, you have the records in front of you, is that right? Yes. I believe the testimony was that on April 24th, a, safe, a order for, was placed for safe site horizon pump set. What date? Uh, April 24th, 2009. Yes. Okay. Now, what I'd like, how, how far back do your records go, Ms. Hirschberg? Our first invoice is July of 2007. All right. Let's look at, then let's, let's go into July of 2007. I'd like you to go to July 20th of 2007. Was there not an order for a safe site horizon pump set? Yes. All right. I'd like you to go Was to. Was there not? I'm sorry. Okay. There was an order for a safe site horizon pump set, right? Yes. The same safe site horizon pump set that was ordered in April of 2009. Yes. All right. Would you please go to October 5th, 2007? On that date, Global, Global Cardiovascular ordered safe site horizon pump set. Isn't that right? Yes. Okay. Now go to June 24th, 2008. On that day, Global Cardiovascular ordered a Horizon, Safe Site Horizon pump set. Is that right? Yes. All right. Let us fast forward now to 2009, okay? Now you said in your testimony that, that the only time that a request was made to send an order to a residence was the April 14th order, 2009? It was in April of 2009. Can you tell us the day? April 13th. Okay. Let me, can you show, can, can, do you have with you the, the order for April 14th that was shipped out, the invoice for that? It was shown to you just a few minutes ago? You may. Thank you. You're welcome. I do. May I take that from you for just a second and put it up on the... Thank you. This is the first page, is it not, uh, Ms. Um, uh, Ms. Hirschberg, um, of that particular order on April 14th, is that right? Yes. Page one? Okay. And, and, we, and, and Mr. Walgren went through all of the things that were ordered uh, on this page, so I won't do that again. Uh, but let me go to page two of that. This is, uh, I'm showing you uh, what is page two of this order. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And, and as we go down the end of this order, we see what is an Excel IV illustration set. Is that yeah. right? Yes. Could you tell us what that is? Uh, not really. I'm not a doctor, and I really don't have the information to explain exactly what it is. When you, um, when some type of infusion, but I don't, I don't know for sure. Can I first witness it? You may. When you were asked to identify this people's 80, did you do so based on the, on the words, basically, the description that was on this bag? Is that how you identified it? Or did you identify it by looking at it? By looking at it. So you know this device. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that a yes? I ha yes. Okay. Do you know this device? Not specifically, no. Does this look like an XL IV administration set to you? I can't answer that. Yeah. I do not know. Okay. You would know personally? Yes. Okay. Is, is this is a it? different exhibit? Um, I honestly don't recall whether this was in or not. Um, can we mark this as defense exhibit, Judge, and I'll get a card copy this afternoon? This is uh, received from discovery from the 
the people. I don't know if they've offered this or not. Are, are we up to K as in kilo? Yes, Your Honor. Well, at this juncture, that uh, exhibit is K as in kilo. I've already testified that on April 14th, and I have, by the way, page two of your records of that, I'm still here. So can I approach witness, Judge? Yes. Yeah. You testified, Ms. Hirschberg, that on April 14th, an Excel IV administration set was purchased, right? Yeah. Yes. Would you please turn to May 12th, 2009? Okay. On that day as well, a set of XL IV administration sets were purchased. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. Now, will you tell us how many IV sets come in a package or in an order? There's 50 per case. 50. Of that item. All right. Thank you, Ms. Hirschberg. Thank you. Go ahead. Turn off. Thank you. Mr. Walgren, redirect? No, thank you, Your Honor. But we just make sure that people's exhibit is put back in order. I, I'm not a witness. I mean, I, I don't know if Mr. Chernoff's returned everything or not. I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's make sure. May Ms. Hirschberg be excused? Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes. Thank you. Ms. Hirschberg, I want to thank you for your testimony.